Brittany F. from uh, Ozark, Montana asks, what is it like riding in a tour bus for, for several months at a time? What is it like? It's fun. It's fun. It is really you know, fun. It's a lot of traveling, obviously, if you're on the bus, you know? Yeah, you know, uh, but the bus isn't bad. Obviously, it's, uh, you know, way more accommodating than a van, which is where we kind of started out. So, you know. The bus is a good home away from home. You either sleep good or you don't in that thing, you know what I mean? I do, so I'm good. So we're good. Yeah. Lori A. from Los Banos, California asks, what's the worst dream you ever had? <sighs> I've had a couple doozies. Yeah. Too. I actually uh, I have a reoccurring dream since I was six years old. It's uh, Kurt Russell from the movie Big Trouble in Little China, and he's uh, grabbing a rhino's horn, and they're like wrestling, and they're like charging into each other. I don't know what it means, but it sounds frightening though. It's, it's pretty frightening. It pretty. Frightening. It still scares the living bejesus out of me. I think I'm saying this right, Ariane. And from Huntington Beach, California asks, what's the best advice someone has ever given you? Don't give up. Don't give up. Thanks, Peter Gabriel. That's how, he's the one who told me that. Yeah, That's I how said he it said just it. like that, <laughs> too. Yeah. Tiffany B. from Shillington, Pennsylvania asks, what's your favorite song to perform live and why? My favorite one to play is Mad as Rabbits, because I get to play bass. Catherine M. from Las Cruces, New Mexico asks, what is the most embarrassing on-stage moment that you've ever experienced? <laughs> uh, man, there have been a was lot. That, was that embarrassing for you? No, no, that no, good? no, that was flattering, if anything. That should be flattering. It should be flattering. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know. We've all had our share of embarrassing moments on stage. I, I forget lyrics all the time, so that's bad on my part. Well, not all the time, but uh, once in a while, in a blue moon, it, it happens, but... Um, I don't know. I was stripped naked on one of the first tours we ever did. Pants. Well, not completely, but just down to my underwear, and that was uh, pretty embarrassing. 